Oh, look, I'm bleeding. Oh, I just walked through that spider web. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Oh, to be honest, I expected a huge gush of water to come out. Well, it didn't kill us, so that's a plus. How's it going, YouTube people? Andrew here from Do Something Every Day 2. Today, we will be trying to do something I haven't seen done before with my 3D printer. So here's the deal. Currently, whenever I want to use my 3D printer, I need to kind of try and pry this edge open because the handle was never made for it. But no worries, that's what we're going to try and do today. So what I've been doing is using the flat edge and prying the door open. <clears throat> what I would like to do is go on to McMastercar's website, download a handle that I find, put it into the slicer, and see if we can print it just from their catalog only. So here's the handle I picked out on McMaster. It's about uh, 2 and 9 16 inches long and about an half inch wide. So we're going to go over to 3D SolidWorks, hit the save button. We should be able to open up that file from there. So now with our file open in SolidWorks, we should be able to go to file, save as, change it to a .stl file. We'll throw it right on the desktop so we don't lose it. Now with Cura open, I should be able to open up my part. And there it is. And it even put it in the correct orientation for me. So what we might have to do is build some kind of support structure to hold this so we can actually print it in this way. Now with all of my custom settings set up in Cura, I can now save it to my removable drive, eject the drive, and place it in the printer. So I've gone ahead and auto-homed everything to make sure that the bed's at the right height. We've applied the glue adhesive to the bed, so hopefully our part will stick and not come loose and destroy everything like it did yesterday. You didn't see that part, but anyway. So yeah, now we're waiting for the bed to heat up, and I'll tune in when we get that done. So it looks like our handle's all done. Let's pry open the door. See if we can cut this bad boy loose. Let me put the camera down for this one. Total print time took 29 minutes. Heating up the bed took 32 minutes. So here's my handle taken directly from McMaster. Um, you can see that the supports have basically merged with the actual part and if you'll notice that lip is getting longer on the top side of it almost like the print may have shifted and then it kept printing but this side looks to be pretty fine the holes work well so the next thing I'll need to do is transfer the holes through the plexiglass with a couple of drill bits and then I can put my screws and hardware in I'm trying my hardest to break off the supports without damaging the part. So give me a little bit of finessing and I'll see what I can come up with. So with using a very sharp kitchen knife, I was able to cut away. It actually unfolded kind of like an accordion but once I got one of the sides out. I might consider acetoning this to make it nice and smooth, but you can still see that everything beyond the circle is excess but I don't want to risk busting that off just so it looks pretty. All it has to do is catch my two fingers so I can open up the door. So it is going to work for that function. So the next thing that I did was I took off the door from its hinges. I placed the 3D printed handle where I thought I would like it on the door, and then I transferred the holes with these pen marks. The piece of tape here is to make for a nice clean drill through the piece of plexi. The only screws that I have in the house are self-tapping, but they're a little bit bigger than the hole 
inside the handle. So I'm going to have to drill out the handle slightly so that I can fit the screw through it. So now that our holes are made, we can pass the screws right through them. And yes, they are extremely long screws. My next step is to drill a slightly smaller hole through the plexiglass in the two holes locations that I'll need to put the screws in. That way they have some meat to bite on when they need to tap themselves. Okay, so there we have our two holes. We can now take the tape off. Mm. Our next step is to drill the screw into the hole. Remember, these are quite long, so I'm going to need to give room underneath the table so that these screws can go all the way through. And then I'll pull the cardboard off because it's now screwed together. And there you go. Yep, screwed together. It's certainly not the cleanest installation, but it works for me. And it didn't cost me anything, so that's a bonus. So now with the hinges all reattached, we can try out the new handle. Mmm. Very nice, very nice. That's going to wrap up this episode of Do Something Every Day. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.